The addition of meta objects has offered us this very convenient way to make more interesting blog posts. I'm going to show you how to make a recipe blog post. So essentially what I've done is I've created a recipe meta object that contain a bunch of options that we can add to the blog post. So I've created a title, which actually we're only using for the display name. And then I've created some options for prep time, which is a single line of text, other things, ingredients, which is a rich text field, some images that we can also add. So this is what the definition of the meta object looks like. If we go to an actual instance or entry of the meta object, you can see here the title is sticky ribs. I've added a bunch of information, the ingredients, the story, the directions, and some images. And we have this nice interface, which I think in the long run, as you're continuing to create recipes is just a really nice interface. It's almost like easy as any of the apps that you would probably use for this. Then what we want to do is go back to the sticky rib recipe and add a meta field. And the meta field just references the meta object. So we can change here. See, I have two recipes, so we're sticking here. So th the meta field references the meta object. And I'm just going to note that none of the information actually goes in this rich text editor, except for what I've done is I've done link to product for part of the rest, which you'll see. So now if we go to this recipe, what I've done is I've created a template that's based on a bunch of sections that I've just added the information to. Right now it's static. So every single blog post would actually have the exact same information. So what we want to do is make it dynamic. The actual, the banner is dynamic because it's pulling the title and the image from the recipe itself, but these other sections are not. So if we go into prep time, you can see that the title is going to remain the same, but instead of having a static time here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to the meta object reference recipe article and then I'm just going to grab the prep time from here and it's the same but now it'll be different for everything and we're going to do this all the way down Now you can see that the recipe actually looks the same as it did before because this particular recipe is the same. Now the links in the product that I mentioned show up here as in the recipe. But now if I go and I change this to the um, honey garlic chicken bite, I've already set up a meta object for this. And so now you can see that everything's changed. The prep time, the cook, all of the stories and the images are changed. So now we can see that every article can now be created and have its own unique information, but still follow the same template, which is a huge step up from what we were able to do with the blog articles prior to meta object.